This week, down at the barns, Les, Steve and Nick have been busy creating the electric wall for the Triumph Stag, which is almost ready to be sprayed. And we'll be bringing you that episode very soon. Good morning and welcome to uh, Down at the Barns on a rather chilly uh, November morning. Um, we're down here this morning to take you through the other part of the yellow ball that you saw a few episodes ago. Uh, that yellow board was the low voltage wiring, this fairly standard uh, electrical uh, loom that you would see in a vehicle and it controls everything from indicators and horn and everything else. This bit here is the high voltage side of that same yellow board, so it's obviously a different board. Um, and this here is all of the high voltage electrical equipment along with all the control cabling which you can see we're probably 80% of the way through installing now. And all of that is being done to a drawing that's going together on the, on the laptop over there. So what I thought I'd do this morning is just take you through the major components to give you a sense of what's in there and how it all connects together. So what we'll do is we'll start off at the actual business end of this and, and this item here is the electric motor obviously uh, with a reduction gearbox on the front of it. Uh, this has some uh, liquid cooling in it and you can see the three main cables uh, coming down uh, to it. Now they're coming down from this box here which is the inverter so this here takes the high voltage DC and chops it up and then phases it so that we get rotation on this motor and that hence the, the word inverter. That's going to need some power of course and uh, what Steve and I have done is we've um, put together this uh, battery box here so this is um, the battery actually inside here um, for safety reasons we just in enclose it and uh, we'll be connecting the DC cables here so a positive and a negative they come into the inverter the inverter then chops this DC signal up into AC which comes down to the motor there's some control cabling to be able to manage the uh, battery and that's all going on this connector here coming back from that a little bit um, I think that we should perhaps talk about this unit here this as you can see is coming up to the charging cable so this is the charging and also once the vehicle is running on a normal vehicle you would have an alternator and this is actually producing the 12 volt DC to run the vehicle because we're using this and the big main battery to produce the 12 volt we only have a tiny little battery for the vehicle and the only purpose of that battery is to bring in the main contactors once the whole thing's livened up then this actually runs all of the low voltage stuff in the car. Coming back from that another step this unit here is the vehicle control unit as we call it or vehicle control module and this is the brain so this is the computer that's handling all of that and you saw that on the diagram um, that was on on the video and this here is the logic controller and it takes in all of the inputs from different items like the this is the accelerator here so this will come up to here and this will provide the demand to the inverter to then eventually release the energy to the motor this part here is um, is not going to be on the stack because I told Nick I didn't like it but uh, this is the uh, drive neutral and reverse so again this comes into the brain this this tells it which way am I going to turn that motor is it forwards or backwards um, so uh, accelerator demand this is the direction demand um, we just have a few relays on here uh, to control various elements now the uh, the charging unit here can get quite warm as can the motor um, and the inverter so these have liquid cooling and because we've got that then we need a radiator to cool that stuff down and hence the fan here the fan again is controlled from the brain that says if I'm seeing a temperature sensor saying the, the liquids getting hot then it will turn on the fan to give extra cooling to there we also need some 
other items we need a, a water pump of course so this item here is just the water pump to circulate the water around the system when that's uh, plumbed in and wired up and we have um, other bits and pieces that we're going to need that are not on here yet so we have the screen that's going to go in here um, that will do we'll be able to control elements of the vehicle the heating system um, and that will also connect into the uh, other yellow board um, and all the standard wiring that you would find on a car okay so i hope you find that useful and see how that fits into the bigger picture uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, click on likes if you liked it and uh, if you want to give us some feedback then please do so in the comments at the bottom You can catch up with all the previous episodes of Down at the Barns simply by clicking on the link.